what's going on, Louie? What do we got here? Uh, we're in a 2007 Country Coach Magna, 79,000 miles, 600 Cummins. Probably one of the best power plants in a motorhome ever made right here. A huge thanks to Dean Lauk's Fine Art for sponsoring today's video. I'm in turtle mode. I really want to focus on the turtles for a year. They are endangered. It's interesting to see how many eggs are laid, how many turtles go in the sea, and then how many actually survive later. I'm going to have many of my pieces down in Florida. That's where I'll be doing my work over the winter time. And I'd love to set up an appointment and meet you if you would like to have a painting. You can visit the shop in Elkhart, Indiana. You can always call the shop at 574-522-8838. gonna drive amazing. So this would be everything about the monocoque chassis. It'd be for the Magna and the Affinity because you see these steel braces that are in here that are actually to mount the awnings that are mounted to the roof. So you had steel structure in there and you had a solid plating that's like a piece of 3 8 inch plate steel, specially fabricated and then welded into the structure. And then all that stuff was sandwiched in around it. And then you have the wall structure right here with the cutout for the slide rooms. And then this is the chassis that rolled out of the back building. Back in the day, we used to do a lot of test drives on these country coaches and we would pull up to a building like this, like we're doing right now. And we'd kind of edge closer and closer to the building and I'd, the customers would be like, well, what are you doing? And I'd say, well, I'm gonna turn this coach and I'm not gonna help that building. They're gonna say, oh my God, there's no way you're gonna do that. We're going to do it right now, though. You ready? I've got to see this. No way. Wow. Now that's a turn. And if we just keep going with this turn, this is a pretty small area, but this is what sells country coaches. This independent front suspension turns at 55 degrees, and it allows us to do a 360 in a pretty narrow environment right here. And that's the purpose of the tag, is lifting the tag like I did there and, you know, raising it so you don't scuff the wheel. Uh, but it just allows you to, to maneuver the coach, whether you're backing up or doing tight turns. You know, for 45 feet, this thing turns like a 40-footer. And then you can't really see it because they're stacked on top of each other, but here's the floor. So the floor beams are actually too thick going across all the way. And then we came along and would do three-inch stitch welds every foot all the way down here after we screwed the whole thing together and then this is the back wall section that got sat on there so that's the chassis the way it is talks about all the whole new holland new ways owning all the components that we're using from all of our different manufacturers that were uh, supplying us with axles and whatnot I'm very impressed. This is a, a beautiful cockpit area here. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a, almost like a brushed alloy kind of a look to it. And then yeah. a painted steering wheel. I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, this is very unique for this particular coach. The customer ordered it this way. Um, kind of a chrome looking uh, dash instead of the burl wood. Uh, kind of set it off with the steering wheel here. You know, the great thing for this, this is a 2007 high-end country coach Magna. 600 Cummins, which is the best engine, no emissions on this whatsoever. Um, solid coach, great engine, great driver. We're about to find out here. I'm looking forward. The only time I've ridden in a country coach before was with Brian back there. What's going on, Brian? I was just cruising along for a ride, seeing how the pros do it here. Looks like you're getting a little bit of YouTube content there. I like to see that. Well, you know, you got to have something to play with and edit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hopefully Brian's YouTube channel's coming out soon. If it's up, I'll leave a link in the description below when he uh, when he gets it up here. So. Well, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful coach. Wow. And we will give you guys a tour of this coach here after we drive it. This is the first year of the Intellitech lighting, and this is my favorite year model. If you're not going to buy one of the last 20, this is what I like the most because you get the dirty engine. You get the first year of the Intellitech lighting, which is really nice. You don't have to hunt for all the light switches. Um, and then this one's a pretty unique coach just by the way. It's got the different Corian surface here. It looks like the refrigerator's been replaced already with a new one. So it's got some cool little things. Front TV's been upgraded and whatnot. 
So what we got going here is Country Coach is one of the few people that actually turn the turn blinker on with a little bit of noise. So okay. Um, you know, a lot of people in the passenger seat want to give their husband or wife a little indication of that their turn signal is always on. This is going to let you hear it. So yeah, that's a great uh, great indicator. You don't need the back seat driver for that one. <laughs> But what I really like about this is the power, the takeoff, everything wow. about this engine. Yeah, we're definitely, I can feel the acceleration. That, the, the acceleration's no joke. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're up to 45 here quickly. Uh, not a lot of steering. These coaches, you kind of effortless, you know, two fingers and you're just steering straight down the highway. Yeah, and this is a really comfortable feel here. What I like most about the country coaches is really how tight it is, but how quiet it is inside the coach. Yeah, You're not going to really hear is. a lot of the squeaks and the rattles like you, you hear on a lot of other brands out there. So, Yeah, we're going down a highway right now, probably close 55. to 55 miles an hour. The other thing that's good on this, this has a three-stage Jake brake on it. So I'm not even going to use the brakes. That's too much, so I just dial it down to low, and it's going to almost get us down to zero here. Yeah. Uh, that's the cool thing about this is the three-stage Jake brake, which is really, really nice. You can really feel that power when you hammer down. The steering wheel here is all electric, so it's got the tilt. So I can, all my pedals are electric. So all the mirrors, this has got a three-headed mirror. All electric, heated. What am I seeing on the wall here? This is really cool. So this would have been a drawing that we would have done or print that we would have made in 2005, more than likely when we came up with the new logo and tried to reintroduce the company with a new image. And this would show here how the floor, all the layers that are here. So from this layer of plywood here to this layer of wood here would all be done in the vacuum table in the back buildings that we use as our storage now. What this represents is the steel frame that we would weld up, the styrofoam that we'd place in there, and then specifically on the print showed where this galvanized steel would go. And we'd strategically put that in places where we we're gonna have a light or something like that. So when we screwed it in, you'd actually be screwing to something other than this eighth inch weather seal board. And then you'll see the same thing here in the wall structure. This would have been the wall, the galvanized plate to screw into for having your towel bars and miscellaneous things like that. And then your other layer of wood, then your fiberglass skin, then your layer of paint. Here we are looking at the ceiling structure where we got the fiberglass skin, the wood, then the styrofoam, and then the galvanized plate again that would be above overheads and so on and so forth. So you'd be able to screw the cabinets directly up into there and be able to have material to go to. And then you'd have the MDF, the foam, and then the vinyl. So that would be the roof structure. So this is just a breakdown so we could show the quality of products that we're using. You know, you've got the plywood here. A lot of manufacturers are going to OSB. So you're gonna have a lot more strength than a piece of plywood than you're gonna have with an oriented strand board. You know, and it's different, all those different things. And then that's all glued together with a um, activating glue and then vacuum together to be able to be as one solid structure relying on everything that's there not just the steel structure but everything being vacuum bonded together making one solid piece so it isn't all floppity so that's just kind of the breakdown and the gist of what we were doing and how we were doing it it says magna affinity but we did this through all of our product line all the way down to our cheapest coaches you know which still weren't very cheap but they were still great quality units yeah and then here you'd have a picture of an affinity that we would have been using for sales. That'd be a 2006 with the collision avoidance and everything on it. And then just a piece of history here of the inside of a, a concept that was done. It really sets this interior off is this dash and how it's covered. I mean, you're not going to find this type of quality out there with the wrapping and the stitching. I like that kind of a key tray right there. How does this drive compare? Now this is a Magna 630. So this is the top of the food chain, I guess, other than an Affinity and Alexa and a Rhapsody. 
and a Prevo Country Coach, obviously. What does this have that's going to be better than like an Intrigue or a lower end or a lower level Country Coach? So yeah, the the Magna and the Finity share the same chassis, so they have the same suspension and everything on the coach. On an Intrigue, the suspension's a little different. It's not carrying as much weight. It's still really, really good, but it's not this beefy, heavy-duty suspension system. Now, each year, it's a little different. So there's some, you know, like 06, 07, the Intrigues turn at 50 degrees, where countries on Magnus and Affinities from 2000 till the last coach were turning at 55 degrees. And then the Intrigue started incorporating that into their coaches around 2007 and 2008. Um, but they didn't have the 18,000 pound front end like this coach has. So this is just a, a big boy suspension system that could carry a lot of weight and that's why they did that. Absolutely, yeah, a lot of open windows. And then even in the back of the coach too, huge windows. Effortlessly driving this coach. I mean, you barely even put your hand on the wheel. It tracks really, really well. I'll tell you what, it's, it's hard to beat this drive. Even around cornering like we're gonna have here, the coach isn't gonna dip or lean or anything like that. It's got quick response to the suspension bags, which prevents it from leaning and stuff like that. Absolutely. Um, so they, they really did their homework with the design of this chassis from the functionality of it, the safety portion of it, being all tube steel throughout the whole chassis, the side walls, even the ceiling, all steel. No aluminum in this coach whatsoever. Yeah, this is a cool road, how you're taking these turns at pretty good speed, 45, 50 miles an hour, and it's just handling them no problem. Beautiful day out here in, uh, where are we, in Oregon? Uh, Junction City, Oregon. Junction City, Oregon. Home of Country Coach. Yeah, yeah. And Premier RV Services. That's correct. Oh. Okay, so we're about to go over a railroad track in a Country Coach. So you know any coach is going to have a lot of squeaks and rattles. So we're testing it, being honest with you guys. Not bad at all, I'm pretty impressed. Louie, why do you think that it doesn't squeak and rattle? Again, it gets back to that trunk suspension system. Um, large suspension bags, uh, a tight chassis that's really well constructed, very heavy also. So that's why buses drive so darn good because they weigh so much. Yeah. So all that whole what? tube st steel structure throughout the whole coach, side walls, everywhere really really makes a big difference yeah look at that beautiful Dean Laux paint job there huge thanks to Dean Laux for everything <laughs> we got to give him a shout out every time every chance we can get what's the gross vehicle weight of this coach uh, 52,000 but this coach actually weighs about 45,000 okay so. 50 th okay cool that's what you get with the front end suspension of 18 drive axle 20 and 14 on the tag so um, country really oversized everything that they did to give you that neck carrying capacity. So this coach is back here at Premier RV Services with the slide outs out here. I definitely like this two-tone leather going on here. I'm sure a lot of you noticed that while we were driving it. Louie was talking about the 
steering wheel and the gauges there. Brian, what else is going on in this coach, man? Well, you know, it's pretty cool. It's really light colored. I like the maple cabinets. Not a lot of these built. Essentially, a lot of people like the darker cherries and the walnuts. But yeah, really good coach. I mean, the nice thing about these is this uh, floor plan had these long couches. So you can have guests over, flip this all the way out, have a nice air mattress to be able to sleep on and whatnot. And then over here, when you're just by yourselves, you got the table here with the computer desk. You can watch the TV, you know, things in the way of it and whatnot. <clears throat> just really cool. You got the dinette table here. This coach, somebody spent some time and had those seats redone or ordered new seats. And then these nice black vinyl seats here kind of gives a different look. And the surface countertop, sure it's a used coach, but this could all be polished back. And uh, it's a pretty cool synthetic material, just the color pattern and whatnot. The backsplash doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's pretty modern. I think once you tore the floors out and went front to rear tile, you can bring this thing to life, you know? Yeah. Some, uh, nice <laughs> new fabric in the slide rooms there. Yeah, I think that the slide out carpet is pretty worn, but I don't mind this. This tile is not bad. It's in good condition. I like the light colors personally. I'm, you know, I guess, you know, it could be a more modern pattern right. for sure, but it's definitely nice. And that ceiling, nothing wrong with that. I really like that. Uh, Brian, you want to let everybody know about how this, keeps the sound down or what's the story yeah, with yeah. these? Yeah, so with these ceilings, the system's all ducted and so the air's coming in from the sides and then going out through all the ducts. So you end up losing, you know, a five, 10 dB, who knows the exact numbers or anything because it's all transferred there. You don't hear that fan and squirrel cage going right up into the top there. So that's really the nice part about these is when you're trying to sleep at night with the AC when it's hot, because we like to get these things in hot environments and go hang out. And then you can keep it quiet inside the coach. Yeah. Much better. And then it's all ducted throughout. You end up with these here, two spots, and then the ducted system again in the back. Huge residential refrigerator. Yeah, and that's a upgrade. Somebody's put the newer one in there, got rid of the Amana, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about it being an old refrigerator. The front TV's been updated. The back one, you know, I don't watch TV in the bedroom, so I wouldn't care. I'd probably have cabinets put in all the way across there because. We've done that a few times. You get plenty more room for the linen right next to the washer dryer there. You can pull it out of the dryer, toss it here, fold it, throw it right in here, blank all this out, get nice big cabinet doors, more storage. Then of course the nice big closet. Plenty of room in here, well lit. Yeah, I like how it lit up when you open the door. And then is there a safe in there, did I see, or? Not on this this floor plan, the safe is gonna be above the uh, other cabinet there. Yep, should be right oh, nice. there. Oh, nice. Factory Phoenix safes. So Good deal. And you got a couple, uh, your hydro hot system here and then your automated blind system here. Which you find? Oh, so you have all automatic blinds. So you can just press a button on those? Yeah, you just tap that button and then they're gonna lower down and then nice. they'll go into the day mode and then you can click it and then be able to go close just for a second. Oh, and that is goes a blackout. This is a lot of coach for the money with options like that. That's like a, you know, like a hotel room, like a Vegas hotel room where you can just black it out. Another cool little thing. I mean, it doesn't hold too much clothes, but yeah, these, nice clothes we hamper. built the clothes hampers in their factory, which I always thought that was a cool little option. Yeah. You know, nice deep drawers here. Yeah, and then uh, like we said, the washer dryer. Oh, looks like we deleted it, so we get lots of storage here. Yep. I really like the wood in this coach. Yeah, just light, light wood. color just really makes it hop, and I think it's more lending to anything that you wanted to bring into the coach instead of some people that paint the cabinets and whatnot. Are you not me, buddy? Hey, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take it to that level. Oh, no, all right. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm just, a, you know, being from Oregon, we love big, huge wood trees and everything's green and we just love craftsmanship and good hardwood. And I mean, that's the key about these products is that there's none of that stitch stuff behind it with fake wood on the top of it. I mean, this is real three-quarter inch quality plywood, of course, covered with a great maple finish there. And then all throughout, I mean, this is solid wood through here. You got the little trays. It's all the yeah. little knickknacks. All the tops are here. They're not broke up or anything, which is nice, you know. These coach 
shoot 13 years old i mean it's hard to keep anything perfect after 13 years and you know i think this coach is still doing pretty good and we get it pdi and cleaned up and make it the best we can and i think it'd be a great little coach for someone it does pull 28 seconds zero to 60s yeah 28 <laughs> seconds zero to 60. I mean, we beat the new old guys i think <laughs> to throw them under the bus or anything we have a lot of respect for them but uh, no they get to still build product you know luckily they made it through the financial crisis i'm sure they had to sacrifice some things just like other manufacturers did at those times to be able to make it and their management did well sadly enough we didn't have the management at the helm that some of us think we needed to and we didn't make it but at least we still have these great coaches to look on to in the past you know i mean we've watched studebaker go away other car manufacturers other motorcycle manufacturers you know so we just kind of keep the history rolling like everybody brian i can't thank you enough for getting me an inside look at this country coach magna um if folks are serious buyers they can get a hold of you guys here at PremierRVServices.com. Yeah, I think that would be our web address. Um, we'd get you dialed in, and if not this one, maybe one that's coming in, or maybe one that we have here in stock. We're always ready to help you out and get your upgrades done and service and storage and sales. So, thank you all for watching these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.